Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. I got a new set to play with, Grown With Love, and it comes with, if you bundle it, the Garden Grown Framelits, and I just really love this set. I have to be truthful, I bought it for the wagon here because there is a framelit for the wagon. If you remember a few videos back, I made a wagon out of our um, wooden crate. Uh, framelit and I really loved it and so when I saw this I had to get it but I have fallen in love with this set because these flowers right here okay they come with framelits to cut these individual flowers out so you not only get the full stamp but you can also with the framelits cut the flowers and some leaves out too came out really really cute look at this card isn't that adorable I really love the little wagon and all of the little goodies that you can put in the wagon. There's a bunch of other stamp sets that I'm already thinking of that can go in this wagon. Um, but I, of course, stuck with this one to show you guys the versatility of it. See these little flowers right here and the leaves? They are part of these two bund bundle of flowers right here. They come, let me show you. They come like this in red rubber. I love red rubber. You get a beautiful stamp with red rubber. Okay, and then you can just color these in and stamp it and then cut them out with the framelits. So I think that that is fantastic and, um, and just fun to do. We'll worry about putting those back in there in a few minutes. <laughs> um, so we're going to be working with this today and I incorporated our seaside embossing folder and the way I colored everything on here was with markers. I love red rubber stamp and markers. Um, you can do some masking also to color it but the markers came out that was a lot of fun to color the stamps so I used the Stampin' Right markers here and this is the 2016 through 2018 in colors because I used the Peekaboo Peach is what I featured on this card and then all the other colors come from our markers of the Regal collection okay and so and I really like the Regal collection it has deeper colors to it but the one reason why I really like this set is because it has garden green and cherry cobbler and those are my two go-to Christmas colors not that I don't like all the other ones as you can see here the um, uh, always artichoke it's absolutely beautiful colors uh, cherry cobbler garden green and um, just some beautiful beautiful colors in that uh, collection of markers right here so I just and then I just incorporated this one because I like the peekaboo peach uh, to go with the background of the card so let's I'll be right back and I'm going to show you how to color these stamps okay before we start I wanted to show you the seaside um, embossing folder and you can get an embossed image or a debossed image so let's look at this that we did with the card. This is embossed, so it's raised right here. Okay, this is raised up. And if you flip it over, you get a deboss size side to where it's more indented and the other parts, uh, the larger parts are raised up. And with this card, I'm going to use the deboss side. I just wanted to see how much of a difference it made. I myself like the debossed uh, today. I don't know. I'm just that way today. I like this yesterday. I don't know. So either or, I think it would. It just makes a great looking card. So our card base is Thick Whisper White cardstock, cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is our first layer, and it's of Peekaboo Peach, and it's five and a quarter by four. So we're going to go ahead and adhere that down and I will definitely use the Tombow with this because of the side that we are gluing down is the embossed side so there's a lot of hills and valleys here and the liquid glue will get in every bit of it. Just kind of spread it around. I try to get my corners nice to the edge up here a little bit more because it does squish out. Now with this layer, 
it's a, a quarter of an inch smaller than the top of the of the base of the card okay so that makes the layer four and a quarter by four or four and that gives you an eighth of an inch border around the card to frame it out that looks so nice just like that I love that that looks great oh I really like that side huh okay so then we're going to do some stamping. Now the thanks that I did on this card um, was is from our paper pumpkin for this month. This is the paper pumpkin kit and we got this wonderful thanks right here uh, that I absolutely love. So um, I love the font on it. So we're going to use that. Now I don't know about you guys but I have a lot of blocks. Um, when I start a project, I like to put everything on the blocks. So I have 5D blocks, um, 4Cs, you know, I have a few of each. Now I have to admit, the, um, the H block I only have one of, and the E block I only have one of. But um, the rest of them, I do keep many... Uh, many pairs of them. Like here I've used 3D blocks. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, okay, so now uh, well, I want to, us to look at the framelits. I want to show you guys all the framelits that you get in here. Um, you get 14. And these cut out, like this is the little pile right here that goes on top of the wagon. This is the pot, the little um, like clay pot the wagon a watering can these are the two bundles of flowers but also with it you get this little like uh, marker I love that with the little heart in it that's so sweet but these flowers right here cut out the flowers that are stamped in these larger images right here so they're allowing you to stamp plus use a, um, a framelit to cut these beautiful little flowers out so that's a lot of fun I just thought I'd pass that on to you part of what this collection is all about and let's go ahead and talk about this right here okay um, it has a little saying right here that says all things grow with love but I didn't want to use the saying so I just tucked it underneath the wagon right there because I wanted to use the thanks so I just thought I'd show you that little trick right there and here I'm going to get out my markers let's get out what we need our peekaboo peach We'll need our black. I got that black as a free one in a paper pumpkin. And now we're going to use our Regal Collection also here. So I know I'm going to use my Cherry Cobbler because that's the wagon. And I want um, my Elegant Eggplant. That's the purple is Elegant Eggplant. I love it. It's such a pretty purple. Um, even, and that's what this is cut out of, Elegant Eggplant. Um, okay, so we take this and you just take your marker and you use this like you're coloring. So the little pumpkin I'm going to do in Peekaboo Peach, all my little pumpkins right here and this larger one in Peekaboo Peach and just color right on your red rubber. Just use it like it is your coloring book okay now uh, let's see let's go with a garden green for the stems of the pumpkins I'm going to do this one with you and then uh, I'll do the rest off camera I turned it around so that I could get um, better ink and really not get too sloppy on the rest of the image there okay right there then I'm going to use some cherry cobbler for my tomatoes. Right there. This is so much fun. This is a great way to get a different color all over your stamp. I'm going to use the garden green for whether these are squash, cucumbers, maybe one of each. 
right there. And then our little eggplant, I am going to use Elegant Eggplant. Now you have a whole beautiful array of colors in your basket here. And then if you wanted to do, let's just do it, the, um, the words. Okay, I'm going to take my black and I'm just going to highlight all the words right over there. Right over it. Nice. Okay. Very quick and easy. Can you guys see all those colors? Isn't that fun? Now, what you want to do is take your breath and almost like you're cleaning your glasses. Listen. That makes it moist again, the ink. I'm going to bring this up here and we're going to stamp. Now it's red rubber so I don't have foam underneath. And look at how adorable that just came out with all the color in every single area you needed it. I'm going to stamp some flowers, get everything cut out, and I'm going to come back and we're going to put the card together. I just wanted to get back on camera with you after I stamp my uh, Whisper White page. And this is what it looks like, just jumbled up stamping. Um, here's what we did on camera. I did the wagon. I stamped my thanks and then I stamped various uh, flowers around and some of them are ghost images because I needed five leaves so I just kept uh, inking them up and stamping those. And then I'm just going to take my framelits uh, and line them up and just start cutting things out. So I'll be right back but I wanted to show you what my paper looks like when I'm doing a project like this. It's just stamping all over the place and then I go to the big shop. Back in a minute. Okay, I'm back, but it's far from just a minute or two. It's more like the end of the day now because it took me almost two hours to find this little piece right here. It got stuck on some Scrap Whisper White, and I put it in my scrap bin, and I went down to opening up the bag in the vacuum cleaner, taking it outside and going through that disgusting mess and not finding it. And I took the craft room apart, guys. It took me like two hours to find this little piece. I was in a panic. It is for the little leaves on this card. And I was like, oh my gosh, what, what have I done with it? So yes, it was attached to a piece of Whisper White like this. I wanted to show you that when I am finished with all of my stamping and then I run it through the big shot, this is what my paper looks like. So it's just a hodgepodge of all kinds of shapes um, that then I go ahead and build my card with. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys the way that I did things. Um, it might help you in your craft room, I don't know. Um, don't lose little pieces. So. <laughs> That was amazing. Okay, I'm going to bring in uh, my card base here and uh, we're going to attach our little wagon here. I wanted to show you what I did. Um, I did not want the All Things Grow With Love because I'm making a thank you card. You might want the All Things Grow With Love and then just raise it up so you can see it and glue it down that way. No big deal. But I'm going to attach it to my wagon with some Tombow right here. I love all the little vegetables, or I should say, I guess, the cornucopia of um, vegetables that's in this little wagon. I think it's just adorable. Okay, right there. See, I just attached it, and then you don't have to use the sentiment, and don't cut it. You don't have to cut it off of your stamp. Um, if you don't want it. I wanted to show you these little pieces right here. This comes from my the sides of my uh, dimensionals, the regular size dimensionals right here. I just cut them. So you use every single piece of your dimensionals just because you finish using all the hexagon ones inside. Never, ever, ever throw it away until you are just down to the, pa the tearaway paper. So let's attach our little wagon. I love this little wagon. I have so many ideas for this little wagon. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the bundle. 
and I wanted to use the thanks from the paper pumpkin. I really liked the font on it. I liked how bold it was or is. Okay, so I'm going to just attach this to my card. And see those little those little straight pieces hold your handle up so that it won't bounce or give or collapse. Um, you know, when you give the card. Uh, so now these little elements here, I've made all of these from uh, stamping and punching out through the Big Shot with the framelits. I've made all of them. Okay, first I'm going to attach our thank you, and or our thanks. And this little heart comes from, let me see, where is that? Here's our little heart right here. It's in the framelit. It's like a little um, tag for the garden. So let's go ahead and put this on real quick. I think it's adorable. I did this in, um, what is it, Elegant Eggplant? There we go. And I'm just going to attach this right here in our wagon almost like it's its little flag. So the heart that was inside of there, I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just attached it to our thanks right there. And now I just put the regular size dimensionals on the back of this thanks, and this is cut out with our new Pretty Label Punch. I'll show that to you in just a second. I'm going to attach that on the top there. This is the Pretty Label Punch. It um, replaced the decorative label punch. I really like it because it reminds me of a cloud. So I put my thanks up there and then these little elements, what I did was I just took some Tombow glue and I glued everything together and then I flipped it over and held it together also with a regular size dimensional. And so this I'm going to put up here in this corner. I'm going to let it come over to the white space some, but it's just not off of the card. You know, it's still flush. Then, down here, this one I put together. Just a bunch of them made a cluster of flowers. I love that. And I put my dimensionals on the back, and I'm just going to attach that right there. And then this one, just making little clusters of flowers. And I'm going to put it right here, up here in that corner. And we are done with our card, except for our rhinestones. These are the new rhinestones. They're kind of flatter on the top, I do believe. I think they look great. I love rhinestones on anything. I love it, you know, just a little bit of a little bit of bling anywhere when you're doing <clears throat> when you're doing cards. So I just kind of take a different size. I wanted to use all three sizes and add them to our card. And there we go, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and watching me put this card together. I hope you enjoy this set. I think it's so much fun, so colorful, so bright. Grown with love. Garden Grown Framelits. This is in the new annual catalog and it is a bundle so you get the 10% off. Just a really fun set. Remember I used our markers, the black, the Stampin' Right, these are the in-color markers 2016-2018 and I used our Regal collection of markers. Stampin' Right markers, the Pretty Label Punch, and we created just very be two beautiful cards, very happy cards. So this is the embossed one, and this is the debossed one. I like the debossed one better, I think. I don't know. Comment if you want to. I sure do appreciate all your comments. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button, and you can order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. Remember, just until the end of this month, these are the two free card kits for July that I'm offering with a $25 order, uh, online order, before shipping, handling, and taxes. I will then send you these two free card kits for just a $25 order. And you also get a thank you card. So you might get one of these. Thanks for watching. 
and happy crafting.